now we want to look at the first sub topic you have, you have a friend whose need you must attend to you have a friend whose need you must attend to let's read Luke 11 verses 5 and 6 and he said unto them which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him friend lend me three loaves O si wi fun won pe ta ni ninu yin ti yo ni ore kan ti yo si to lo laarin ogonjo ti yo si wi fun pe ore won mi ni isuwa kara meta for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and i have nothing to set before him nitori ore mi kan ti ajobo sodo mi emi ko si ni nkan ti emi o gbe kale ni waju re now, if you look at these two verses of the Bible, do you notice know that we have three friends there? Eh? Do you notice it? From my own Bible here, I don't you know, know about you. Be be if you look at verse 5, there is one friend there. There are two friends there. Do you get that? That is a friend that started with small letter F. Small letter F. Are you with me? Do you, do you have it in your Bible like that? The first friend began with small letter F. F. This was the one who went to the second friend, which is bigger, because in my Bible it was written with capital letter F. Now, when the smaller friend got to the bigger friend, he came to make request on account of another small friend like himself. Please, did you see that in verse 6? Now, this third friend was not there. But his matter was the matter between the two. Now, do you follow me to this point? Right. There is a friend of yours that didn't follow here today. There is a friend of yours that didn't follow to meet with a greater friend and that is Jesus Christ. Now, that your friend that doesn't follow you to this place has a need that you must attend to. Please, do you get it? I'll show you what. The reason why God has not been answering your prayers it's because you have been praying selfish prayers. Everything revolves around you in prayer. But for you to understand why I ask you to ask for the spirit of prayer and supplication is the matter that is before us now. Because 
I know many of you don't know that you have a friend that you must attend to his name. Mo mo pe opopolopo wa ni a o mo pe a ni ore ti a gbodo boju to ainire Many years ago me I have known that I have friends that I must attend to their needs Ni opopolopo odun seyin ni mo ti mo pe mo ni awon ore ti mo gbodo moju to aini won And it is for their sake I came to this planet heart Ati pe Nitori won ni mo se waye if i fail to meet their needs bi mo ba ti kuna lati ba ni won pade no matter how righteous i am ko ni fi se bi mo ti je olododo to no matter how how kind i am ko ni fi se bi mo ti jo ninu reto no matter how reputable i am ko ni fi se bi mo ti je otokulu to i will end my life in hell Please pay attention. Jo If the rich man in Luke chapter 16. If he had understood what God is communicating to you now. Bi ohun ti Olorun fi to wa leti bayi bo ohun ba ti loye re ngba yen. That man would not have ended his life in hell. Do you remember the man, the rich man of Luke chapter 16? Do you know he went to hell? Do you know in hell when he saw Baba Abraham, Baba Father Abraham knew him? Do you know Baba Abraham knew him? He called on Father Abraham. Father Abraham didn't deny him. Baba Abraham. Baba was Baba himself told him, he said, son. You can be a son of God and landed in hell. Please pay attention. And do you know the reason why he went to hell? It was because he did not meet the need of his friend. Hmm. Just as this man in this parable, his friend came to his house. He didn't put up on challenged attitude. He didn't do that. For his sake, he has to cancel his sleep and went ahead to go and disturb his greater friend. What you will have hmm. that will not make you to pray. I pray that God will not give to you. If the rich man did what this man do. It might not end his life in hell. If he had also gone to God to pray. Baba would have told him and said. The reason why we release wet to you is because of Lazarus. But he didn't see it. You know, it takes revelation to see your friend. It takes revelation. And if you don't pray, you can't see. Our money has a way of blindfolding your eyes. Our blindfolding your eyes. Our money has a way of blindfolding your eyes. Because when you are full of money, everybody look at like rat to you. They are inferior. It's like, what do they want? And then, when money comes, you wouldn't want to do some things that people will not know. To wo ba de ti de a shen ni oma je uruko keji to oma je awon kan teyan ba nse la bele ta won yan mo yen o ni fe se won want to be invited to a place where there are cameras and they are doing live transmission awon ibi streaming and that they are speaking 
and everybody is seeing you worldwide. I want to be fun about posts. If you put in a band solo, book by yellow mama, you want the mama connect like your social media. The mama fell low. And that's where you want to pour your money and say. You want to be to your poor world. Ultima solo, so can you? If the mama fell low. And they will tell you that you are a philanthropist. I want to be a team. I want to be a Baba Allah. No, 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 no. Please. Do you follow me to this point? Please, let's go to the outline. You have a friend, not just a single person, but a group of individuals whom God has ordained and set along your path to help. Oni orekan ki ishi e ni kan shosho shubon ekbe a mwen ni yakan Ti olorun ti yan ti o si ti fi si ipa ona re lati ran won lowo please if you have a vision to turn amplified open it for me but i want to finish this paragraph before i will allow you to read bi o ba ni eh eh iwe amplified lowo ba mi si e fesu ori 2 e se 10 sugbon gbe lowo mo fe pari abalaye na this friend of yours has need to be felt physically emotionally and spiritually ore re yi ni lo wi pe ki a bo pelu o nje ti ara ti okan ati ti emi the first of his needs is easier to handle but if you are not connected with the great friend to supply your needs you will complain e kini ninu awon ini re yi ni o ronun ju lati ba pade Shuban ti o ko ba ni ba se bo pelu ore nla lati ba ini ti re gan na pade o ma se awawi please look up e je wo egbogi soke you have a friend oni ore kan not just a single person ki wa se nikan soso and for you it might be just a single person boya fun o o si le je yo enikan pe for somebody like me i know i have groups of individuals and God has ordained for me. And, and he has set them along my path. They are not to help me. I am to help them. They might help me later. But I must help them first. This friend of yours and mine has needs in his threefold way. Only a wine, Lono Meta, physical. Emotional, spiritual. Now we now said the first of this is the physical, and what a human being need in the physical is the food. I know it is easier to handle than emotional need and spiritual need. Oh God, I don't know if I'm communicating to you. you. Now, if you have a spouse. Uh, uh, Sometimes a man has a wife. And that wife is giving that man food regularly. But the totality of a man is beyond his body. He has emotion. He has emotional needs. He has spiritual needs. Now, the emotional needs, if a woman is just meeting the physical needs. Okay. And the man's emotional needs are not met. That man will not be satisfied in his marriage. He will still feel starved. So if he is a transparent man, he will tell his wife, I'm not comfortable. 
ko temi lorun and the woman will say what else do you need i give you food all the time what man needs is beyond food 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 he has emotional needs he has spiritual needs now, even that physical need that looks easier i need tara ti o da bi eni po orun yi gan if you do it without god you will complain ti o ba tun wa se lai lo lorun ninu o sha wa wi i know men are here I know you are the one responsible for defending your house. But sometimes, men, can you be faithful? Does your, family, does your family, your wife, and your children? No other person. When Madame tell you, food has finished. Daddy, on get it done. Is it all the time you just say praise God? She go 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 na lo fe yi do so ke hallelujah. Eh? Onje. Well, as you normally say praise God. Akwe abi o man saba so pe ah enyi oluwa lo. That we not that you not say ah 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 when did you buy it? Ah ah. When sister igba wo le lo ja na. Ah ah. Just like like that. That. How did you eat? It? How did you finish? Do, do you understand? That is your own immediate family. Now let alone that you have other children living with you. Without God, you cannot do it without complaint. Please, do you follow me to this? Let's read on. Now, the second and the third of his needs are the same. Now, the second and the third of his needs are heavier. The second and the third of his needs are heavier. And greater in degree. And they are beyond the natural resources within your reach. Ekeji ati eketa wa ni ore ore reji ni wa tobi ti wa si kodi agbara ikbese ti owa ni kawo tire. You have people who look up to you for help, and you know it, and you are responsible to handle it, but you are helpless. Oni a wa ni ya ti wa woju re funi na lawo. Ti o si mo wikpe o ni o ju se la ti mo ju tu a e ni wan shuban o ko ni o na ba yo. Hello. Please, can I check with you? How many of you that this my submission is relevant to? That you have people looking up to you for help. And you know that you should be responsible to handle your needs. But you are helpless. Can I see your hands? Oh, good. Good, good. Put down your hands. Egbo wa wale. You must not die helpless. Because if you die helpless without helping them, what be the lot of the rich man will be your lot. Now, yeah. That's it. You didn't come here to be a spectator. Oh, why ye wa wona? If you are not needed for a particular thing, you will not be sent here. Be a obani lo relati ko ipa kanto she pataki a oniro wa ye. If that part, that portion of your own has been given to another person, you will have died long ago. To ba je pe ipe re ati fifu e lo miran o ti kuti pe. The reason why Baba is still keeping you alive. Did you allow him to find power more sibe? It's because of this your friend. Oni ni tori ora ora ye. Can you give me amplified? Efficient two ten. Amplify. Efficient two ten. S A K W A. For we are God's own and the work. His workmanship. We are already recreated in Christ Jesus. We are children of God. All right. Born and new. Listen. The reason why you and I were born again is that that we might do those good works. Uh -huh. Which God predestined. Do you hear that? Which God predestined. Plan beforehand. Plan beforehand. For 
for us. Now, the 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 map of your life. God had designed it. Place it where you are going to be tomorrow. That you never imagine. God had planted those good works there. And for the because of those works, God will allow you to go through those places. Yes, sir. That we should walk in them. That we should walk in them. Living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. Living the good life which he had prearranged and made ready for us. Serve a mass. The good works that you are to do. God has planned them. He has planted them along your path. He has prepared them. They are ready made. You will meet it. You will meet those works. Now follow me to this look again. Look there now. Now let's show you what we are saying. Verse 32, 34. What that amplified is saying. And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. Jesus said, Down a week, or connect to Jerusalem, so call it lost in Jericho. Oh, see, boss, your wow, more lost shah. Tim one bar, Lia Shaw, one shah, Logbe, once he fits it a law, Lia, a bar, Lia, pattern. Wait, some people, they are on this planet. I want come one in my yet, I want ye to steal, only no idea to kill, one walk pan, to wound, one wash shiny log, Benny. Some people. They have come to this life to destroy. And because of those evil workers, and they have killed some people, half dead. They are taking away their glory. Are you with me? All their natural resources have been taken away. In fact, if not for divine mercy over their lives, they intended to kill this man, not to leave him half dead. Probably God made the man to faint, and they just look at the man and they say, He's dead. Let's go. And after he has gone, they are gone. Aha. Then the life of God came back to this man. Sass, man. Certain men have been wounded and left up dead. They are waiting for you. For their sake, Jesus bring you to this his life, to this new life called new creation life. For their sake, all the sources you need for life, God has provided before you ever came here. The reason why you are here to see it is because you are here to come to God's time on the reason why you are living. You and God, you are yet to be agreed. You are not on the same page. That is the reason why you are languishing. That's the reason why you are not making progress. Now, first that one. And by chance, there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed it by on the other side. 
ni ala ba pade ni alufa kan si nso kale lo lona kan na nigbati o siri o koja lo ni akeji that one is a priest but they didn't know that he was called to be a priest to help people that are being made wounded by the enemies and live half dead eni yi alufa ni sugbon ko mo pe a pe ohun ni alufa lati ma ran awon ti a sha logbe lowo ohun re koja soran keji oba ti e lo likewise a levite when he was at the place came and looked on him and passed on by the other side be na si ni omo lefi kan pelu nigbati o de ibe ti o si ri ohun na koja lo ni akeji now pay attention to this master three and thirty four e jo e wese ketale logbon yi o but the certain samaritan sugbon ara samaria kan as he journeyed Came where he was. Oh, day, be tio gbewa. When he saw him, nigba tio siri. He had compassion on him. Ah, no, re she. Priest didn't have compassion on him. Alufa ora ano. Levi didn't have compassion on him. Oma lefi no shanu. You don't do good to a person when you don't have compassion for that person. Oh, le she ni lo re bi ano eni yoba she o. Compassion precedes kindness. Ah, no lo man sha ju ore. Please, do you follow me? I just want you to tell me. Why did he have compassion? Kilo de tofi shano. He knew that this is my friend. Ah, ore mini yi. I descended from eternity to time to help him. Lati aye ra ye ti moti wa si igba yi kimba le na lo wani. For this reason, I was born. Ni tori e yi ni ashe bimi. For this reason, I was born again. Tori e yi ni mo fi datumbi. For this reason, I was kept alive. For this reason, God led me to this path. I went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring him all and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn and took care of him. O da ororo ohun wine si o si gbe ele ori eranko Now let's let's read down to 35 Eje ke ata si ese ikeni di ni ogoji And tomorrow when he departed he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him take care of him and whatsoever thou spendest more when i come again i will repay thee O si mu wa si ile ero o si nse itoju re nigbati o si lo ni ijo keji o fi owo ide meji fun olori ile ero o wi fun pe ma toju re ohun ko unti wo ba si nan kun nigbati mo ba pada de emi o san fun o now let me ask you one question e je kin bere lowo wa verse 34 ese ikeni le lo gba yin only attended to him the way he attended to him ka so pe bi okunrin yen ti se si eni tori yi o be na lo se si to care of him o toju e and left the man there o wa bo ti toju e to di logbe to dooro si lara o fi le nbe as he fd e jo soran lowo eh you have tried my best mo gbiyanju o olodun na ri mi di e to mu kan ni kan the priest has gone he didn't do anything alufa sha ti koja nbi o re kete si akeji ni the levite has gone and he didn't do anything mo le fi na gba bi koja e gbe akeji na ba emi e ba ra samaria if nobody applaud me i will applaud myself bi ala ngba mi ba bele bi o re ni yin akan ri mo le ayin re emi na try But that man didn't stop there. Shuba kuni yiko duro ni be. He took him to the hospital. Ogbe lo si le iwo san. He gave the doctor money. O tu debe o san wo fa mo dokita. For adventure what I've deposited is not enough to take care of him. O tu wa fo un le pe e jo bi nti mo fi le yo ba to lati toju e. When I come back. Bi mo ba pada de. I will pay his bill. Ki ete ba na ma san. My master says. O ga mi wi pe. Master 36. Ese ikeni ni logoji. Which now of these three? Thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? Ninu a wan mete ta wan yi ta ni waro pe ishi eni keji eni to bossi owa a wan losha. Now you know the answer. Ina amai down. The need of this man. I ni o kuni yi was beyond physical need. O kaja I ni taralasa. Yeah, his body was wounded. No, Tony Asha, look me, I, 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 I think Barra de Lara. But if he didn't have somebody to care for him, she must have come back near the canto le she to do a mire. That he felt loved by someone. T, any can, any can feel fair and see. That's emotional need. Ela ang pe ni ay ni mo Lara. 
that we make the body to heal fast. When you are feeding a man and his emotional needs is not met, that man will look haggard. Please do you follow to this point. Oh, leave father. Baba, mima. Let this your children understand this matter. We are dealing with the matter of life and death here. If this thing does not come clearer to you, you might already set your feet on the path of destruction. God will not throw anybody to hell. He are already born into hell. Jesus came to rescue us. So anytime we are following Jesus, that is when we are discarding hell. Hmm. That's it. Oh, Tony. But Don't think that God is going to throw you. No, 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 no. God will not throw you. Hell and heaven is a choice. It's a choice. You don't choose it in the church. You don't choose it. Choose Choose heaven or hell when your pastor is there. You choose it when you are face to face with the reality of why you came here. So the priest said, yeah, I'm not interested in him. I want to go to hell. The Levi said, Me, I'm not interested in him. I want to go to hell. The Samaritan said, Even though salvation is not for us. Mm. Salvation is for the Jews. And the Jews have gone. And Jews have gone. They have neglected a part of salvation. Me have chosen to follow Jesus. And he did. Can I leave that with you? Eh? Let's move to the second. You can't shy away from your friend's needs. You can't be indifferent either. Please look up. How many of you really have friend? Now, I'm not talking of this friend I'm discussing here. In your life, do you really have a friend? Okay. Now, do you normally shy away from your friend's needs? If you normally do it, then you are not that person's friend. Yeah, you are not. If you are indifferent to your friend's needs, you are not a friend of that person. So by the way, I knew already. I could not tomorrow see. Oh, Saba man shall I be kita? Boy, I need a key. Sure, already. Let's go. To shy away and be indifferent is divinely tagged slothfulness, wickedness, and unfaithfulness. Lati moju kuro ki o she alai be kita ni onuka si wipe oje ole oje ika ati alai shuto. This has been the art attitude of many of us to the names of our friends. Our lack of understanding of divine responsibility has made many of us prayerless and heartless. Do you know why we don't pray? It's because we are heartless. Now, if your friend came to you and is asking you of a particular need and he wants you to meet it and you cannot afford it, you're supposed to lose your sleep. Be a rare battle. Am I speaking sense? 
I don't know if some sometime you want to sleep and indeed you are really tired and you want Yo, to ma. sleep. But a friend of yours just came. And was telling you his challenge. Immediately sleep disappear. And you are ready to do something to this thing. As that happened to you? Oh. Then you are you are good people of God. But some people will say no. I can't, I can't. Please, please, I, 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 I even want to sleep. I want to sleep. No, you are not doing well. If that's your life. Oh, 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 Atless Christians do not think about the needs of the poor around them, let alone of treating them properly. O daju Christiani ki ki ronu ni pa ni awo to shiti oyi ka de po wipe yo mogu to mo da da. Stop being atless. Now let's look, let's read these scriptures. Psalm 41. I just want you to see the blessedness of you thinking about the needs of the poor. Psalm 41 verse 1. Blessed is he that considerate the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. You know when you think about a matter, you will respond to it. Oh, oh, God say, blessed is that man. Is that child of God who thinks about the state of things with the poor. Baba said, Such a life will be delivered in the time of trouble. Come to Job 29. Verses 12 to 16. Because I delivered the poor that cried, and the fatherless, and him that had done. Are you there? I will not allow the interpreter to read it. So follow me. Because I deliver, this is Job talking to, talking to us about his past experience. His at, attitude towards the poor. Excuse me, you are not a Christian when you are not bothered by the names of the poor. Because I delivered the poor that cried and the fatherless and him that had none to help him the blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me and I caused the widow's heart to sing but joy I put on righteousness and it clothed me my judgment was as a rope and a deer death. I was eyes to the blind and feet was eye to the lame what, the, what, the, what does it mean if you find somebody that is blind not knowing how to go about Job will take a hand and say when you saw the cripple that is trying to walk he will lift that one will lift that one are you with me I'm not asking you to do that for physically. No, that's not what you are talking about. I'm not asking you to do that for physically. No, that's not what you are talking about. There are some people who have eyes. But they are blind to the pathway to how to make ends meet. You are not asking you to do that for physically. Some are lame. Their life is stagnated. They have degrees. But no progress. Say, I was a father to the poor. And the cause which I knew not, I search out. And I break the jaws of the wicked and pluck the spoiler out of his teeth. Now come to chapter 31 of that same job. Verse 16 to 20. If I have withheld the poor from their desire or caused the eyes of the widow to fail, 
or have eaten my muscle myself alone and the valorous are not eating thereof job will not eat alone job need that jail if job is eating let me ask you how many of you when you are blessing your me that this is the way you pray. Listen to me. Please listen to me. That this is your me. And you pray this way. Lord, I thank you for this provision. Lord, provide for the needy. Bless my maid, O God. May I not eat this? And eat a vein. Let it strengthen my spirit. To do your will. At the end of my life. Let me eat with you in heaven. Eh? Eh? Uh-huh. You don't used to pray like that. That's the way I pray. That's the way I pray. That's, that's the way I pray. That's the way I pray my. That's why I bless my meal. That's why I bless my meal. <laughs> now, why you are eating? Some people cannot afford to eat. You thank God first. Before you bless your meal, you pray that God should provide for the needy. And this one that you are eating. It won't be that you eat in vain. Because you have eaten in vain after you have gotten the strength hmm. in your body and you don't do the will of God. Me, I want to die with Jesus in heaven. That's the way I bless my me. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Proverb 1970. Owe Ori Keta di Nineteen. Ori Kokan di Verse 17. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord. Hmm. And that which he hath given will he pay him hmm. again. And it's your sha no funtalaka. Oluwa ni omi. Ati she unre yosi san fun. Bada fun. Please, brethren, Ara. this is the word of God. You have a friend whose need you must attend to. Can I leave the Isaiah for you to go and read at home? Because I still want you to pray. Don't you like to pray? Well, let's, let's finish this. Heartlessness will make us to be negligent of known duty. And we will not run to the greater friend to help us become competent to do what we are to do. Iwa o daju, yo mu wa moju kuro lara a moju sheti ama. Ako si ni to oren la yilo. Lati bere fun iran lowo lati le kun oju osuwon lati se awon ohun to ye ka se the priest and the levite they were heartless ati alufa ati omo lefi ni won je odaju it was their duty to attend to that man but they neglected it oju se won ni lati moju to okunrin ti asalogbe yi won si pa ti you know why you have compassion sugbon ti o ba ni anu o you will go to god o lo ba olorun so this smaller friend whose friend came to ask him to attend to his need, it was because he was compassionate. That was why he went to the greater friend. But this, now let's come back to our note. This, this was pada. why the rich man went to hell because of his neglect of Lazarus, whom God set at his gate for him to feed. Alas, the time of Lazarus expired before the demise of the rich man, and he was in trouble of the torment of hair. Please, do you agree with this? 
Eh? Now let me take the last paragraph, then we pray. Yeah, I want us to pray. Jabez prayer. Yeah. The understanding of your divine responsibility and your own helplessness to deliver what you are expected to do necessitates prayer. Please let me check with you. How many of you, you know that you have friends and friends that you must attend to their needs? Thank you. Please don't be heartless. I know many of you are not heartless. But we are helpless. Am I correct? There is difference between heartlessness and helplessness. Oh, sometime, you know, I said something and I said, yesterday, if I have money, I will have presented you a car. This man deserves me giving him a car. Oh, I said it. I said, Oh God, you will bless me. That you step into another pedestal with another car. It will come. You see what? Amen. So I'm not heartless. I'm helpless. Me, me, oh, she or that you, Moko, dear, lie in your pani. So I know many of you too, you are helpless. Many things that God will have put in your heart that you should do. But you have no money. But you will have from now. How will you have? You will run to the greater friend. And I want you to do that even now. You will always run out of what to give to others if you are only living for yourself. If you are only thinking for yourself, my, myself, my wife, my children, you don't think about other people. You must never be callous and indifferent and neg negligent. Stop being selfish and be compassionate. Oko bodo jeika ati alai bikita alai la kasi de kun imotara arene kan ki o je ala anu. Jebes was not heartless. Oko ki ishe odaju. But he was helpless. Shugman o je alai la gbara. He wanted to help many people though he himself needed help. O fena oko lokpo yon lo wo unga ye re ni lo anu. He was poor. He was the son of sorrow. But he cried to God oh, that you would bless me. That you would bless me. And you enlarged my life. Why was he praying that prayer? He knew. He has friends that he must attend to their needs. He has friends that he must attend to their needs. He has He has friends that he must attend to their needs. He has friends that he must attend to their needs. He has friends that he must attend to their needs. I cannot afford to continue as a poor person. I cannot die as a poor person. I cannot die as a poor person. I cannot die as a poor person. That will mean that I have come to this life and useless. He called upon the God of Israel. Our brother introduced the God of Israel to us while we started this ministry. That God of Israel is the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He can change your story to glory. And he will do it this evening. He doesn't call God. God, five minutes to do it. You just have to believe and pray. Jabez prayed. It was not because he was righteous. That was why God answered him. It was because God has seen that he has something in mind. He wanted to attend to needs of people. You know, when your, oh God, when your request your own need 
and you are praying for we meet God's need God has needs and his major needs are poor people he will not come down from heaven to help them. He has children here. If his children will have art for them, he will release from heaven all that they need to meet the needs of those people. So I want your request today to be on Lord. Now I realize that I have friends I have to attend to their You know, for many of us, you are comfortable. Permit me to use the word comfortable. That you are eating, you have, you have enough clothes. Do you understand? But when it comes to needs, we cannot help. Do you understand? Our brother that did his 58th yesterday, how many of you give him gift? Hmm. Do you understand? Oh, disciple doesn't give gifts. Ah, one man, you are funny, Ninka. You know, we are many enough. If you give. Sister Florence. You give Brother Taiwo. I will give them, even if it is clothing materials. That when they go to their house and it's like this. Now you now create problem for them. To be praying to say, Lord, how do we manage this one? But some of you said, <laughs> if it is bad day. And you know this brother and this sister, they are blessing one way or the other. Don't you think that you're supposed to bless them? Now I'm not begging on their behalf. Do you understand what I'm talking I'm about? I'm dealing with a point here. I just want you to resemble me anyway. I think of how can I make life better for someone? How can I make life comfortable for someone? You know, when I was in need of car, I did not only pray for car. I said, God, bless me to a point I will be giving people cars. It will come. Amen. You are. Let me finish here. What I'm saying is to ginger your spirit to pray. Please, I want you to pray. I know if God will bless you. God will bless you. Oh God, this your amen is not good. God will bless you. Amen. God we bless you. Amen. God we bless you. Amen. He will enlarge your coat. Amen. You will not see evil in your life. Amen. You will not know sorrow. Amen. The good hand of God will come upon your life. Amen. Please, I plead with you. Remember the poor. Please be seated. Life is miserable when you are poor. Christianity is a cause when you are poor. You waste the, the, the work of the cross if you die a pauper. Because of you, Christ became poor. So that you can be rich. And you are to be rich in order to be rich in good works. God will bless you. I terminate in your life. I terminate wretchedness in your life. 
I revoke the cause of lack in your life in the name of Jesus. I enact the riches of Christ in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will no longer be helpless. Amen. As regards good works. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Let me finish it. Your daily supply of bread, the children's food, cannot be sufficient for the need of your friend. If you are having daily news, if you are not having, you will begin to have from now and then. Hence, you will need to go to the greater friend, not for your lesser self, but for the sake of the need of the lesser friend. Nitori na o ni lo lati to ore nla lo ki se fun iwo ti o kekere yi sugbon nitori ai ni awon ore re kekeke won yi whatever is given is a no not yours hmm. and you shall give account of how you spent it and the profit or loss you realize from it. Oh ko un ti a ba fi fun o je gbese ki se ti re o ma se isiro bi o ti se na ati ere ati ofo ti o ba ni lori re do you understand? Show you what? Will you pray? Show my bad. You go to your greater Show friend. Show your bad. Please rise to your feet. God did they do the Lord yes, sir. What is that your lack? Kini I near ye. What is that your helpless? Kini I I let out. Will you ask from him? Show my bad. Who is able? And it's your poor. Who have inexhaustible resources? And it's your only one. God be. Ask for spiritual blessing. Bad if one way book one. Ask for physical blessing. Bad if we book one. Ask for material blessing. Bad if we book you one in it. God of heaven, bless me indeed. Spiritually bless me. Bless me with spiritual blessing, with physical blessing, with material blessing. Holy Father, enlarge my coat. Enlarge my coat. Enlarge my coat. Change my level this day. Change my level this day. Change my level this day. Oh God. Enlarge my coat. My physical coat. The land of my destiny. Enlarge the coast of my destiny. Oh God. Enlarge my coat. My ministry, the coat of my calling, and I pray this day. Let your hand be upon me. Let your greater hand rest upon me. Keep me from evil. Keep me from evil. God, I will never be sorrowful. I cancel sorrow. I negate sorrow. It will not be my Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bless me. Bless me. Give me material blessing. Give me physical blessing. Give me spiritual blessing. That I will be able to fulfill your mandate in the name of Jesus. The enlargement I need. May you release to me. Now. Let your greater hand. Let your one Your good hand. Take your word. Come upon me. Keep me from evil. Keep me from evil. Let me not experience sorrow. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. So shall it be. Amen.